It's July 2008 in the Lake District. Arriving in Penrith are six children from different backgrounds who all live in Britain. They will be camping together for the weekend on a farm in Buttermere. Spending time with other children, different from themselves, will give them the opportunity to make new friends and discover what it means to be British. But for these children, getting along is not going to be easy. Sometimes when I hear people, black and white, saying, talking about terrorists, I sometimes I think they're aiming at me because of my colour and background. I won't be mates with an Asian in Bradford because people around me would take the mick out of me and him. For these children, Britain is a place of difference and division. What will happen when they spend the weekend camping together? Will they gain a deeper understanding of each other's identities and be able to overcome their differences? Ian, truly British. What they're mocking. Did it come and make you feel uncomfortable? A little bit. Do you think Niall's representation of you is accurate? No, will change the curry because I don't eat curry. People just don't want a mix. It's like a war. And will the camp allow them to better understand themselves? I live here, but I don't feel British because everything around me is Greek here. Are you going to be able to cook with that? Helping them is historian Dr down. Nick Barrett. There's quite a lot of different ideas coming from all of you about what you think it means to be British. And in many ways, I think we can knock some of those on the head. I wish that teachers could bring kids like this at a summer camp so you can make more friends and different friends. Will the children discover what it really means to be British? children take in their new surroundings on the long journey to the Lake District farm where they'll be spending the next few days. Most of my friends are English in this area because it's a white area in Bradford. But in Bradford areas, there's more Asians and Russians and other background. The only thing that I'm bothered about going to the Lake District is sleeping, because when I'm sleeping, I think about my mum and wonder what she's doing, which makes me feel homesick. But I wouldn't really mind meeting other people from different countries, but I'd rather stay with white English people because they're from this country. And I've supported them. Well, that's the Premiership. What? Premiership. Where are QPR? League 3. There's no League 3. Conference League. Blue Square. No, they're not even in that. My mum is a Muslim, Pakistani, but born in England, and my dad is Pakistani and born in Pakistan. I live in Britain, so I feel British, and I am a British Muslim. My usual day would be uh, waking up in the morning and getting ready for school and get some education down me, and then come back from school and then eat and then go to mosque. Most of my friends are Asian because I live in an Asian area, and. I don't have uh, that much chance to meet anyone else, uh, any white people or other people. My mum was born in Cyprus, my dad was born here, but they're both from Cyprus. They're both from Limassol in Cyprus, and they met over there and then came over here. My mum's been in here for 15 years, but because my mum is 
was born in Cyprus, I speak Greek to her because she speaks Greek to me. Being Greek to me means who I am, which on a Sunday I have to go to church, Saturday I have to go to a Greek school to learn my language and all the Greek food we eat when we like meet up as a family because my grandparents live two doors away and so like, every Sunday we meet and just have some family time. Most of my friends are Greek because I went to Greek primary school so I've known them for long and my parents mix with like other Greek parents so I'm friends with their children which are Greek. These are some really old pictures of Cyprus. This is like my mum's family, her brothers and sisters and this is my dad. This is in my mum's village. There's the church we go to, the big scenery with all the green mountains. What does it make you feel when you look at these pictures? Well, they give me good memories. There's times when I wish I was in Cyprus so I can like, live the true experience there. How would you feel if I told you that she told me she doesn't feel British? Oh dear. Um, <laughs> um, I'm not surprised really because again, I, I, I'm, I'm of the same opinion. I, the, the she takes it from us, doesn't she? If Mariana came back from this trip feeling more British, I would be surprised to be honest because I know what she's like. I don't think um, um, an experience like this would change her a lot really. What's his name again? It's the fun we're going to be staying yeah, for the next two days working on the course. Yeah. Oh my god! Say hello to the choir. Yeah, for me. Who's he? Who? Who's he? 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 Okay, guys, this is where you're going to be sleeping tonight. This is Craig. Well, welcome to Craig Farm Bunkhouse. The main point of, the, of this weekend is that you have lots of fun and make new friends, yeah? It's not all about your things you can't do, it's what you can do. Nan and Shekwa are beginning to bond as they prepare their sleeping bags for the night. He's going to try something. You know that soap that makes your face go black? No. There's soap that makes your face go black. <laughs> I was going to bring it. You wash your face and your face goes black. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm looking black like charcoal. <laughs> Niles, a joker. <laughs> He's like one of the people that I find I talk to. Amesu is like one of the people that I also crack jokes with. But not as much as now. Is it on? Yeah. Around here is a good community. It's close knit. Like there's big kids that look out for the little kids. And if the little kids see the big kids in trouble, they'll basically go and tell one's parents or something. If someone said that people on council estates were trouble or uneducated, I'd say that they need to take a look at me due to the fact that I'm not a troublemaker. I've never been in trouble like that. I'm educated, I'm achieving. I've achieved a lot, I'm still achieving, I'm ready to achieve. Here is potato shoots. There's potatoes growing underneath here. This tomatoes. is tomatoes, which haven't flourished yet. Our strawberries all along here. And our pepper plant, which hasn't flourished yet. I consider myself British, but not English. I believe personally that English is to have an English bloodline. British is to be born in Britain, but because my mum's from Jamaica, my dad's from Tanzania. My dad put this shower curtain up so that we can identify 
the countries and also spot where we're from. I'm from here, Jamaica, off the coast of Cuba, and I'm from Tanzania, which is just underneath Kenya in East Africa. I mix with everybody. I, have, I don't have one group I mix with. It's everyone I mix with. The girls, the boys, the, the black children, the white children, the Iraqi children, the Indian children, everyone really. <laughs> I can't adjust it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll have a good night's sleep tonight. I've made friends with everyone and they've all been really funny and they're really good friends. I'm one of the very few African kids in my school. I'm from Zimbabwe in Africa and I came here in 2003, and then that's when I started living in Leicester. We used to play football on the beach, where it was just like, oh, like on the sand and everything. And I want to play for Arsenal. What do you think it means to be British? Oh. <laughs> um. OK, guys, it's time for lights out. Yeah. Got a really long day tomorrow. Yeah. We start at 7. Don't want to hear any noise at all. Yeah. We're right below you, so lights out now, and we'll catch you in the morning. OK? We've moved so we can be away from the boys because they're stinky, so we come here to be for ourselves. If we didn't move today, we wouldn't sleep upstairs. The boys are just, like, silly and stinky. We couldn't sleep today. I'm originally from Portugal. My parents are from Mozambique. I'm here one year and we're really enjoying it. When I first got to England from Portugal, my first impression, it was like different and new and everything because like the houses and the city, like how it is. He is more quiet and in Portugal it's like really noisy and everything. When I first got to Plofborough, um, it took me four or six months to learn English. In Portugal, I didn't have any race, races. And when I came to England, I had once this boy from my school, from my class. He'd been racist to me, and then I told the teacher about it, and then he stopped. Because I haven't lived here for so many years, and I haven't got a British passport, I don't feel right if I say I'm British. OK, good night, girls. Coming up in the next episode, we catch up with the children as they begin to settle into their new surroundings and learn more about one another with surprising consequences. People just don't want a mix. Yeah. What the muffin? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like a war. <laughs> <laughs>